Okay, so as we step upstairs, this banister is a little bit loose, but that's normal. Wear and tear. Beautiful hardwood floors continue through. We've got a newer bathroom updated with a new windows, of course, have been updated. Bathroom's nice and clean as well, too. It's tiled. Very nice tiling. Backsplash here. There I am. Hello. Got this wonderful storage area built in when the house was built. A third, uh, first bedroom here. Looking out over the front, you can see that our roofing tiles are the newer modern style, so that's good. Looking out over the park with the pine tree in front. And then we have a closet, bigger closet as well too. For these tile houses, that's actually a bigger closet. Um, then bedroom number two, ample, not huge because of the angle to it, but it looks out over the park. Wonderful there. And then bedroom number three, which they've got set up or, yeah, so they don't have, huh, that's interesting. Two kids rooms. I didn't see their bedroom anywhere. Let's look for that. But we've got this room is a third bedroom. Closets over there. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the classic charm of it. That's the part that I like. I like the concept that things have been updated in the house as well, too. So there's three bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom upstairs. So if you have guests over, they got to go up there to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I didn't miss a bedroom at all anymore. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so that's this house. I like it a lot. It'd be a really good rental property uh, because of its location on the park. It does have off-street parking, so with that garage. I like it. Check, check, check. Uh, just no unfinished basement. Rental potential here is easily $2,000. It's just a good quiet area.